What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning back in. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Bootstrap with React. Now, normally whenever I do a tutorial, I'll already have something like Material UI or React Strap installed to take care of the UI components because usually my tutorials aren't really based on UI theming, so I just kind of leave that part out and automatically install it for you to make your life easier. So what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is actually show you how to install Bootstrap with React using a third-party library, in this case, React Strap. And I'm gonna show you how to take advantage of everything Bootstrap inside of React. Now, normally you couldn't actually use React with Bootstrap because the jQuery might uh, conflict with the React library because of its use of manipulating the DOM. So in this case, there are third-party libraries that will replace the jQuery for you, like React Strap. So Another thing is usually when I make these tutorials, I'll record them beforehand so that you won't hear any of my typing, but this one's gonna be kind of interactive, so you're gonna just have to get used to the keyboard clicking in this one. All right, guys, let's get into it by installing a React application. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna type create React app. I'm gonna call mine client. And inside the folder, I'm gonna do a dash dash template and dash TypeScript. And if only I could spell correctly. So this is going to install my project into a client folder with TypeScript already installed. And then once we do that, we'll install the React Strap library, like you see here. And then once we install the React Strap library, we'll add the types. And then I'll show you how to use React Strap and then how you can still use normal Bootstrap sort of inside React. Okay, so our package is installed. Let's go ahead and just rename that because that's going to drive me crazy. Now let's go ahead and open this folder with Visual Studio Code or your favorite IDE. And I'm going to just pull this to the side here. I'm going to go to the source folder and I'm going to get rid of everything that I'm selecting here. That's not my index TSX file. I'm going to shift delete those. I'm going to go inside my index and just get rid of that for now. And I'm going to create my application.tsx file. And then I'm just gonna do a basic uh, function component here, and we're just gonna render some React Strap inside of it. So let's do an import React from React. Let's just make a default interface, I application props. This is just good practice. We're not practice putting in any props, but I always like to declare them. And we're going to declare our application and it's going to be of a type react dot function component. We're going to pass in our I application props to the chevrons and we're just going to return null for now. And then we're going to do an export default application. And then back in our index file, we're going to go ahead and call that application. Now I'm just going to close this window off because you don't really need it. I'm going to open the terminal and now we need to install React Strap and its types. So you can go ahead and just copy and paste this and install that into your project. Should install it no problem. I see here that it's installing React and the React DOM too. You should just really only do the Re React Strap but I just copy and paste it to show you what to do. And next we're going to go ahead and do an npm install. We're going to do a dash dash save dash dev. We're going to do the types for React Strap. Now, once that's installed, we'll be able to use all of our React Strap Bootstrap components. The only thing we need is the actual Bootstrap CSS. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to open up our public index.html file, and we're just going to go ahead and insert our CSS from a CDN. So go to Google and search for a Bootstrap CDN. You should get a website like this. You're gonna click the CS, you're gonna click this little down arrow here, look for the HTML, click inside, it's gonna say it's copied to the keyboard, and then boom, you have your Bootstrap CSS. So now Bootstrap is installed. The next thing I'm gonna want you to do is actually go to Google one more time, and then we're gonna look for a Bootstrap card. And we're gonna go to the cards definition, and we're gonna save this for later. So now let's switch back to React Strap and think to ourselves, okay, we, we're just gonna render a simple card here. So let's go to our components and click card. And it's gonna give you the basic code for a card here. So a card in Bootstrap has three, usually three general components, a header, 
a body, and a footer. So let's just go ahead and use that for now. I'm going to go ahead and go to my application file. And what I'm going to do is first I'm going to use the container component because that will kind of organize everything nicely for me. The container is the same thing as using a class container in Bootstrap. So inside of it, I'm going to put in my card. Whoops. Inside of my card, I'm going to have a card header. I'm going to have a card body. And then I'm going to have a card footer. And let me just close that off again. So up here, I'm going to say header. Here, I'm just going to say body. And here, I'm going to say footer. So I'm going to go ahead and run an NPM start and let's see what happens. And you're going to see it renders a basic card inside of a container with its header, body, and footer. So the bootstrap is working properly. Now, React Strap and Bootstrap allow you to do something cool where if React Strap doesn't have a definition that you're looking for that Bootstrap does, you can actually still input Bootstrap uh, code like you would with HTML and divs inside of here, and it can still work. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this basic example right here. This class card that just has a body uh, with some text inside of it. So if you were to paste that inside here, you're going to see something happen here. And that's that it's complaining about this little class keyword right here. And that's because class is a re uh, reserved keyword inside of JavaScript and TypeScript. So how you get around this in JSX is you actually just change that to class uh, name with a capital M. And that's essentially doing the same thing. Now, since you are importing the React CSS, now that I've saved this, if I go back here, you'll see that there is another card here with some text in the body. So now let's actually go ahead and mimic what we have up here. So let's go ahead and just change that to body. Let's change this to card header. And then we'll put another one in the bottom here. I'm going to call this card footer. And I'm going to say footer here. And I'm going to say header here. And if I hit save, You'll notice that this code and this code are doing the exact same thing. The only difference is that React Strap is making them components for you and giving you some props to make your life easier. So what I mean by that is if I go to the React Strap card, you'll see inside the card prop types, you have something like color. And basically what that means is I can assign a color to the card. So if I go like this and I say primary, which is a bootstrap color and I hit save, you're going to see that it adds whatever your bootstrap CSS primary color is. So how to get that effect over here is essentially the same thing as doing, I believe it's a BG of primary. I could be wrong though. Yeah, there you go. So this is basically just allowing you to quickly input what color you want for the background. Now there are some things that aren't inside of react strap that you're still going to need to use your class names for. And this is also a pretty cool trick that allows you to do. So you'll see, you'll see inside the prop types, it gives you a few things that you can use, but if there's something here you want to add, like a margin or a border, you can still use this class name right here. So if I go to my card and I put in a class name and I use bootstraps, let's say margin, I'm going to give it a margin of five so you can really see it. And I hit save. When I go over here, you'll see that it's added a margin of five around the whole thing. And if I do that right here, it'll give it the same effect. So let's do that. And then you'll see that this margin of five has been added to this card as well. So you can see that React Strap makes it simple for you, but all in all, you don't actually need the React Strap library if you're not even comfortable working with it. It just gives you uh, an alternative to make it a little bit smoother flow for you. So I really like that. There are other libraries, like I said, like React Bootstrap that you can use. I personally just use React Strap for its simplicity, but there's nothing wrong with using any of those other libraries. Well. It's as simple as that, guys. That is how you just insert Bootstrap nice and simple using a third-party library or just by using the Bootstrap itself. It's very, very simple, but very, very effective if you want to make a clean and responsive UI. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning back in, and we'll see you in the next one.